Some of the world's wealthy people often own private helicopters for individual use because they can accommodate them for their convenience and preserve their standard of life in society, reflecting their position to others. In today's video, we're going to go over the 5 most expensive helicopters in the world. So without further ado, let's get into it. Number 5. Bell 525 Relentless $15 million Bell Helicopter Textron's Bell 525 Relentless is a medium lift helicopter. The helicopter is the product of Bell's Project X and Magellan construction programs. It is intended to support various mission applications such as offshore, enforcement agencies, search and rescue, and VIP transportation. The helicopter was unveiled in February 2012 at the end of the 2012 Heli Expo in Dallas, Texas, USA. Bell chose seven primary suppliers for the helicopter's construction in July 2012. The rotary wing aircraft is being built in Amarillo, Texas in the United States. The helicopter's inaugural flight was completely successful in July 2015. The Bell 525 Relentless features an innovative aerodynamic design that increases speed, range, and carrying efficiency. It is made of metal composites and has an all-composite five-blade main rotor assembly and a four-blade tail rotor. The helicopter's primary rotor diameter is 16.61 meters and its gross weight is 9,072 kilograms. Bell designed a new LATD tail boom technology for the aircraft to improve hover speed. When opposed to traditional tail booms, the tail boom adds 88 horsepower to the primary rotors. The rotary wing aircraft also has airfoil designed blades, blades that can withstand bird strikes and anti-ice capabilities. The helicopter's cockpit has J-Track, turn outward and pushback style pilot seats for easy evacuation. It also provides the pilots with a high degree of comfort. The helicopter is powered by two General Electric CT-72F1 engines, both measured at 1,800 horsepower. The CT-7 family engines are planned to be more fuel efficient while also lowering repair costs while meeting high payload projects. The helicopter's top cruising speed is 287 km per hour. The maximum service ceiling is 6,096 meters. The helicopter's entire range is 500 nautical miles, or 926 km. Number 4. Airbus AS332 L1E VIP Super Puma $15.5 million The AS332 C1E Super Puma is a new generation dual engine helicopter in the Super Puma family. The rotary wing aircraft was designed and manufactured by Eurocopter, which is again presently Airbus Helicopters, to meet various mission requirements. The helicopter is designed to perform walk, search and rescue, or CSAR, and search and rescue, SAR, missions, as well as maritime surveillance. It can be used for enforcement agencies, peacemaking, public defense, drug trafficking, humanitarian missions, transportation, utility airlift, medivac. It will be one of the world's fastest fixed-wing helicopters. The four-bladed integrated main motor on the AS332 C1E Super Puma helicopter is equipped with gust and droop stops. The tail cone is made of monocoque construction and has a five-bladed anti-torque rotor. The helicopter is equipped with tricycle landing gear that retracts. The main landing gear is built with the trailing arm, while the rear landing gear has a caster wheel. One pilot, one co-pilot, an engineer, and a rescue worker make up the onboard crew. The glass cockpit is NVG compatible, with suspension seats, two jettisonable doors, and two windshield panes. Its cabin can set up to 17 passengers, and has two retractable sliding doors with two windows to allow emergency evacuation. Three windows are situated on both sides of the cabin. For medical rescue missions, the place may be outfitted with up to six stretchers. The AFT fuselage storage has a particular single step door. Number 3 Sicker Sky S92 $17.7 .7 million. Sikora Sky Aircraft Corporation manufactures the S-92 medium lift dual-engine helicopter. The S-92 is an advancement of Sikor Sky's S-70 U.S. Army Black Hawk and U.S. Navy Seahawk helicopters. 
It is offered in 19-seat passenger commercial, 22-troop utility, and various mission-specific specifications such as search and rescue, SAR, state, and VIP transportation. The S-92 first flew in December 1998 at the Sikra Sky Development Flight Center in West Palm Beach, Florida. In December 2002, the FAA granted FAR Part 29 certification. Sikra Sky installed steel mounting studs in the gearbox oil bowels of all S-92 helicopters in March 2009 as a precautionary protection measure after discovering fractured titanium studs during a helicopter crash in Canada. By the end of 2009, Sikra Sky had finished retrofitting the majority of the 91 S-92 helicopters. Sigur Sky implemented a fully coupled and automated solution capability in September 2009 to minimize cockpit stress for smoother operations on offshore oil platforms in demanding weather conditions. The new platform finding method makes it easier for the pilot to program the approach into autopilot. This feature comes in handy at night and in low light conditions. The new system will be installed in all S-92 helicopters currently in operation. The device is now being tested in flight at the company's development flight center in West Palm Beach, Florida. In late 2009, the FAA certified the new system. The Civil S-92 has a metallic and fiberglass body and aluminum and composite framework. The S-70 Blackhawk's four-bladed integrated composite primary rotor blade is broader and has a longer radius. To minimize noise and maximize lift, the tapered blade tip waves back and angles downward. Sikra Sky expanded the cabin length of the final prototype by 41 cm in response to demands for more cabin space, lowered the height of the tail pylon and moved the horizontal stabilizer. Tethered Hubbard flight has produced 31,000 pounds of lift, both in and out of hover. To improve protection, the S92 rotor system is damage tolerant and has a crash-worthy fuel system. It is equipped with a four-axis, fully coupled autopilot system. The design incorporates a range of safety mechanisms such as fault of tolerance, bird strike functionality, and engine burst containment. An active vibration system provides a good flight while keeping acoustic levels far below certification requirements. Number 2. Augusta Westland AW101 $21 million Augusta Westland, formerly EH Industries, manufactures the AW101 Military Utility Medium Lift Helicopter, a joint project between Augusta of Italy and GKN of the United Kingdom. Finn Mechanica now owns 100% of Augusta Westland. The EH101, now known as the AW101, is also available in naval and civil models. Over 120 AW101 variants have been delivered after 146 AW101 variants were ordered. The robust modular structures, crash-worthy and damage-tolerant features also provide a 5-blade main rotor, 4-blade teetering rotor and main lift frame with several primary and secondary load parts. The fuselage is mainly made of aluminum and lithium. The aerodynamic rotor blades are made of carbon, glass, Nomex honeycomb and Rohacel foam. A vibration cancelling mechanism is used in active vibration modulation of structural response or ACSR. The temperatures in the helicopter range from minus 40 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius. An ice protection device allows for service in predetermined icing conditions, in sandy conditions, and engine inlet particle separator device protects the engine. The cockpit has protected crew seats that can endure an impact velocity of 35 feet per second. The AW101 naval variant can be equipped with two anti-ship missiles or up to four torpedoes and serious charges. The AW101 transport helicopter has a top speed of 10.2 meters per second. The helicopter's top and cruise speeds are 309 kilometers per hour and 278 kilometers per hour respectively. The maximum range and maximum altitudes are 927 kilometers and 4,575 meters respectively, with maximum stamina of 4 hours and 50 minutes. The helicopter weighs approximately 10,500 kilograms, with a maximum takeoff capacity of 15,600 kilograms. Number 1. 
Airbus H225, Super Puma, $27 million. Because of its long distance and all-weather search and rescue SAR features, the H225 is preferred by commercial operators and government departments. The H225's autopilot is a benchmark in its area, providing precision, efficiency, flight envelope safety, and pilot aid. Mainly dedicated SAR upper modes, the H225 is by far the most cost-effective helicopter for lengthy offshore crew changes due to its payload and range flexibility. The H225 also has a large payload and can be configured for various missions, including aviation work, firefighting, transportation services, law enforcement, and utility missions. The H225 is the most recent addition to Airbus's established Super Puma family which has accrued over 5.8 million flight hours in operations worldwide, covering heavy icing conditions and extremely demanding maritime conditions. Furthermore, its military variant, the H225M, has been used in the most challenging SAR missions. The H225 integrates the ability to accommodate 19 passengers in its air-conditioned compartment with its heavy lift capability and excellent range to address the needs of the energy sector as exploration and development shift further offshore. Whatever the mission range, cabin space is unaffected by the need to accommodate a full tank. Rig and fly. The H225's automated rig approaching mode takes the aircraft up to the landing's visual selection phase. The pilot can choose between a direct and an offset approach. The maneuvering display demonstrates the oil rig waypoint, radar echo from the oil rig, existing flight plan, and an automatic identification system, or AIS, from ships, allowing crews to predict possible obstacles and adjust the route with a safer and more effective trajectory. The aircraft's role-changing capability allows for a rapid realignment to overwater search and rescue, or SAR, duties. So there you have it. If you have enjoyed today's content, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Until next time.